There is one artist for every couple of decades that encapsulates what film experience was for a couple of generations. And I think for my generation and the generation right before me, Drew Struzan was the movies. His posters are modern day classics. That's not an opinion, it's a statement of fact. It's not just an ad, you know, it's the first notes of the piece. It's the beginning of the story. He's a storyteller, and that's what makes him very unique and ranks him with the great poster artists of all time. I like Chewbacca on this one, too. You can even make Wookiees look good. <laughs> it's got a wet nose. That's all you need. <laughs> you get the whole movie in looking at that one image. And this one image really made you want to run out and see that movie. I had to almost live up to the art that we later were going to ask Drew to create for the poster. You've been very good to me. Very good to me. His art creates instant nostalgia for something that you've never been introduced to before. Masters of the Universe? I want to see this movie. If somebody took the trouble of painting it that good, it must be worth it. I probably never will see this movie. They say I could draw before I could talk. It's just what I do. It's what I've always loved to do. It's so tactile, and that's because he paints. He doesn't keyboard. He knows every trick on the board. He has a very distinct line. I often pose as Indian myself. Whatever makes you look like that, I want that shit in me. That abstract texture, it's the merging of all those elements. All those things add up to a feeling. I just pick those things and make that feeling. I'm a big fan of Drew Struzan. It's beautiful work. He's one of the kind. He's an original. He's amazing. He's part of the movie experience. Yeah, I think Drew Struzan do your poster is almost worth making movies just for that.